Hey everyone, I'm Cece from One Green Pea. You know, as plant people, we pride ourselves on the great care that we give our plants, the how we can rescue them from disease and provide the perfect conditions and the right watering schedule. But the truth is, sometimes plants die. Today, I wanna to give you a little tour of the plants I'm currently killing. The first one, is this Monstera. And honestly, this is one of my prized plants, one of my favorite plants. It was given to me by my children this spring for Mother's Day. I'll give you a close up and show what's happening. So my Monstera looks a little lopsided because it is. There used to be another stem right in here. The other day I came to wet the moss pole and give the pot a little spin and the stem virtually just broke off, just broke off. And it was black and gross, like rotten at the base of it. So I ran it outside to take a picture and little bugs crawled out of it. It was really disgusting. And I don't know what's happening, but I'm hoping that I'm not killing this plant. So of course I saved the stem of the Monstera and put it in water. There was one node on the stem. So I'm hoping that maybe it will grow roots and I can come out with another Monstera. Okay, here's another plant that I'm pretty sure I'm killing. It's a Calancho and isn't that pot adorable? Um, and the plant used to be adorable too when I bought it, but all the flowers are dying. The leaves look horrible. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it's not overwatered or underwatered. My thought is it's not getting enough light, that the filtered light that comes through those windows isn't enough. So I'm going to move it before it fully dies and I'll let you know. So this next plant, I don't think I'm actually killing it, but I know I'm not giving it the conditions it needs to thrive. It's my Peperomia caparata barrasso. I love this plant. I hope that I don't kill it. I like the little waxy leaves and they're red underneath. And I love these um, little flowers that it puts off. But, um, no, it's not thriving. Like it should be bigger. It should be, the leaves are tiny and um, it's just not growing. So I'm going to move it and see if maybe it just needs more light. So this is my yoga room. Most of the plants in here are really happy. They get a lot of light and a lot of great energy. The only plants that aren't happy are my avocado plants. I have a complicated relationship with avocado plants. I love the idea of creating a new plant from a seed, uh, but I'm just so rarely successful that I don't know why I keep trying. Anyway, this guy is very tall, but all the leaves keep dropping and then it just keeps getting <laughs> more leaves at the top. And that makes for a super ugly plant, even though it's still alive. And it gets plenty of light. It's sitting right over there in front of uh, the glass doors. I don't know what's going on with this guy. This one uh, is actually three. I put three seeds in there. I hope you can see that. And with the thought that I could braid them together because I thought that that sounded super cool. And it was going well for a while until it started dropping leaves just like its older brother. So I don't know. I mean, again, it's still alive. It's still putting out leaves, but we'll see. Okay, a few weeks ago, I did a video about moving these seeds into LECA just to see if maybe that would give them more success. Okay, lesson learned. Don't do LECA in terracotta. This is disgusting. I've saved it only so I could show you guys. I mean, the water just weeps out. Like, there's no hole, drainage hole. It just 
weeps out. It's so gross. So that's going in the trash as soon as this filming is over and the seed is dead too. Um, these two seem to be doing okay. Again, it's only been two weeks, so I don't really know. I'm not quite ready to pull them out of the LECA um, to see how the roots are doing, but I'm so curious. I know that eventually I will. So that's the avocados. Okay, I want to end this on a positive note. And so I want to show you a plant that I brought back from the brink of death. It still looks a little deathly, but bear with me. It's my Calathea Zebrina. And I love this plant. I love the idea of this plant. Um, but as you can see, it bears some scars. Um, so I had this downstairs. I wasn't getting a lot of light and um, it was not getting as much humidity as it like. So I brought it up to my bathroom because there's plenty of humidity, plenty of light, and it's really coming back. So like I said, it still looks a little bit deathly, um, but it looks so much better. And look at the red on the backs of the leaves is coming back. So it's very exciting. And um, yeah, that's my success. So thanks for watching. I would really appreciate your support um, if you wanted to hit like so I know what kind of content you like. And then if you would subscribe if this is the kind of account that you would like to see more regularly.